I want to tell you guys uh, before we get to the next headline that this is not the onion. I promise. This is real. Now, having said that, Hillary Clinton's new book, What Happened, will address the 2016 election. She wrote a book called What Happened about the 2016 election. Come on, Hillary. This is so Hillary. This is just so her. As the country's moving a million miles an hour right now, people are worried, oh, they just slapped new sanctions on Russia and Iran and North Korea, so the Iran deal's getting blown up right in our faces. We have the incredibly down-to-the-wire vote uh, last night about Trump care and the Obamacare repeal, and people are talking about health care and Medicare for all, and all these substantive issues, and everything's moving so fast, and everybody's so busy in the political world. And what does Hillary do? I released a book about me and about my presidential campaign and what happened. Here, I bequeath this upon everybody here. And you can read about me and my thoughts on what happened. Mm. Ugh. And you already know what's in the fucking book. You already know. Because it's driving her crazy and she's trying to rationalize everything. You can't just accept the answer. It's you. It's you. It's you. She's like the needy boyfriend who gets broken up with by the girlfriend. And then the boyfriend keeps going, oh, what did I do wrong? I understand. And she's like, dude, you're doing it right now. That's what this is. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. No, we don't want to hear it, because you're doing it right now. You're profoundly unlikable, because you write books called What Happened After You Lose the Most Easily Winnable Election in Human History. And what are you going to do? Pawn off all the responsibility yet again. Yet again. How many times has she done that since the election? It's, it never ends. Pawn off all the responsibility. <sighs> Glenn Greenwald had a good tweet about this. It said, rarely do you get the... The question and the answer are on the on the cover of the book, and it says it says what happened, and then right underneath it, Hillary Rodham Clinton. <laughs> like yeah, that's right. You happened. You happened. You built that, Hillary. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, and we already know. Is it? Is she gonna say, hey, you know, maybe, maybe I really depressed the progressive base because I was for the war in Iraq. I, I uh, orchestrated intervention in Libya. Look at what happened in Honduras. You know, you go down the list. I voted for the Patriot Act. I was in favor of NAFTA. I was in favor of deregulating Wall Street. I did over $600,000 speeches from Goldman Sachs. Uh, you know, we learned that I said, there's a real feeling of bigotry against the rich in America today. Or that she said, I have public positions and private positions as a politician and they should be different. Uh, she said, I want totally free and open trade borders, which is basically TPP on steroids. So, is it going to be, uh, you know, self-reflection? Hey, maybe we shouldn't have tried to cheat Bernie Sanders out of winning this thing, and we shouldn't have tried to hide the debates, and Debbie Wasserman Schultz shouldn't have pressured the media to get them to give me more favorable coverage, and maybe Donna Brazil shouldn't have uh, sent me questions behind the scenes cheating before the debates, and no, we all know it's going to be Russia. Well, what happened was Russia. Russia said to Russia, foreign... Government interfering in our election and taking it from me. I'm. It's mine. I won. I should have been. I was next in line. P you know, people say in her campaign early on, they said, I can't figure out why she's running. They said, I don't. I get the sense that she just thinks, like, it's my turn. Shut up and give it to me. And that's the, that's the feeling everybody got. Everybody got that feeling. Like, okay, whatever, this whole election thing is fucking getting in the way of the inevitable. Let me just be president already. Just fucking give it to me. <sighs> what happened? The, that's almost like fucking uh, O.J. Simpson's book. I didn't do it, but if I did, here's how I would have done it. Hillary Clinton, what happened? 
What happened? You fucking happened! And your shitty voting record, and your selling out to Wall Street, and your inability to be actually progressive and populist left, and your horrible campaign, only 25% of your ads focus on policy. Only 25%! Is that fact gonna be in your shitty book, Hillary? No, it's not. Because it's deflection, it's obfuscation, it's protecting the ego, it's anything but coming to terms with what you are and what you've done and how your vision has destroyed the Democratic Party. <laughs> what happened? Um, yeah, so there you have it. Only 25% of her ads focus on policy. She was loaded to the brim with platitudes and cliches. She was campaign- her idea of millennial outreach on the campaign was to say, We should Pokemon go to the polls! Ah? Uh, hey, look, here I am on Ellen! Dancing! With pop stars! See, look, I am dancing! Aren't I so hip and with it? Look, I am in Ohio! Uh, and I am with LeBron James campaigning! Don't you all want to vote for me? He is big in Ohio, right? Turns out all that, all the cliches and the platitudes and the celebrities and the fucking pandering to millennials, none of that uh, wins out over having a solid policy message that would improve people's lives, which you didn't have. So they went with the disgusting uh, Republican over you. You lost the most easily beatable candidate in history. Any answer to the question, what happened? that doesn't stress you is not a real answer.